boom all right what's up you guys it's royce jacob welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be talking about why it's looking like we are heading into a bit of an altcoin season in real life we're slowly but surely transitioning into the holiday season and as many of you know the months of november december even getting into january and february tend to be a lot more exciting for risk on assets and altcoins are definitely considered to be more risk on than bitcoin so shaping up to be pretty exciting i'm personally getting excited because my portfolio definitely skews towards more altcoins than bitcoin that's just my personal choice but it is also because i currently am more bullish on altcoins okay so let's dive into the charts you guys as always we'll quickly go over the topics we'll be discussing then we'll dive in in front of us trading view where we will cover the following three names in this order going down the watch right here we will kick it off with ethereum i have bitcoin at the top that is just to show you guys kind of how they're playing together but we are going to be looking at coin market cap quick to take a look at the past 24 hours to kind of gauge recent performance because these charts just recycled about an hour ago so we will be taking a look at these kicking it off with ethereum of course the king of the altcoins can't talk about altcoins without talking about ethereum so we'll kick it off with good old ether move on to link as you guys know if you guys have been part of the waves fan for a long time link was actually the first video i ever posted on this channel over a year and a half ago now so link also bought it at like a buck 50 so it's done a lot for my net worth personally will always be grateful to it for that and right now link is shaping up very well i do personally have a have a bias towards link so know that right off the bat but from a technical perspective from a fundamental perspective i love link i love eth solana is a new face around here at least that's uh, i'm finally jumping on the bandwagon on and gonna be talking about but do love ethan link both fundamentally and technically and then we'll close it out with a name that pretty much all i'm assuming almost all of you know at this point and uh I, i've kept my eye on it for a long time but this is the first time i'm actually covering it on the channel again finally caved in a sense but we are going to be taking a look at solana not right now but i'm expecting in the near future for solana to see some very very promising price action but i will explain to you guys why i see a little bit of short-term downside in the near future first prior to a big move to the upside a lot of you will know where we're going with that but we will dive into solana on the charts last okay again we will take a quick look at this as we kind of go over the charts themselves just show you guys how these assets have performed over the past uh, 24 hours ether up 4.6 percent solana up only 0.54 percent these assets are seeing somewhat of a correction um, as we speak so uh, again that's just how it plays out sometimes but as of right now when it comes to kind of that shift again the market works in cycles you guys especially the cryptocurrency i mean all markets uh between risk on and risk off when risk is off when investors are a little more hesitant obviously the king the king safe haven the king of the crypto sector which is bitcoin will perform and uh, more speculative assets like some of the ones we're talking about today um that statement can be argued i guess but uh, for the purpose of this conversation more speculative assets will tend to falter a little bit but right now they're looking good again heading into the holiday months these speculative these uh risk on sectors of the markets do tend to do a lot better so very excited about ether uh, again solana and Chainlink. Chainlink actually looking very good right now outperforming at Chainlink and ether actually outperforming a lot of the alts on the top uh top 10 top 20. so that's good news you guys that's very uh that makes me very confident in my personal portfolio full transparency the majority of the weight in my crypto portfolio is Chainlink and ethereum so um that is of course the reasons <laughs> the primary reasons i'm talking about them but if they're most heavily if they most heavily weight my portfolio of course i'm gonna be the most bullish on them from a technical and fundamental perspective okay and i'm a loyal guy all right so that's uh, i mean that's pretty much all we'll look at there before we dive into the charts i do want to read this very very short uh, couple paragraphs here um by coindesk titled market wrap ether outperforms bitcoin is traders look to altcoins analysts see strong fundamentals for alternative cryptocurrencies so we'll just go over this you guys this is not really new news but it's just kind of plays into the narrative that i'm trying to feed here and uh, talking about why i do think we're moving into said altcoin season all right and just a heads up little exclusive before the actual video is released you guys i caved your boy just upped his nft game in a big way i caved and bought a mecca i've been wanting to cop one of these for the past week i tried for the lotto i tried for the lottery didn't work out and uh, i'm just so pumped that uh, i got this bad boy this morning i was frothing when i saw 
the approved order put in uh put in a bid and uh, it was approved just an hour ago before this so still a little excited i will be making a solo video just on this talking about a few of the articles covering the mechaverse because it was such it was i think this is the most highly anticipated nft drop uh maybe of all time i was gonna say of the year but that would definitely be all time so i will go into more detail in the video i'll either post that tomorrow or on saturday so stay tuned for that go over how much it cost how um, i mean you guys can go look at that but how much i paid for it uh the process of buying it and uh, just talking about the project itself and uh, again i'm super stoked so new mascot meet ronan talk more about that once again in the video so just wanted to give you guys a little teaser just because i was freaking stoked uh as always you guys if you do want to gain value from this if you're bullish on the cryptocurrency space if you're stoked on me for the mecca please give the video a like uh Again, if you go on to gain value from it, subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, want to catch more content like this. And of course, check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter. If you want to know exactly how I'm personally structuring structuring my portfolio. Obviously, you get to see how I'm playing these cryptocurrencies, when I'm buying, when I'm selling. But all crypto-related equities, Bitcoin miners, Riot, Mara, BitFarms, BTBT, all that good stuff. Coinbase even. A Bought some more Coinbase today. Uh, if you guys want to know exactly what calls, what puts, I have exactly a complete breakdown of my entire portfolio. That's going to be first link down below. That is 15 bucks a month or 40 bucks for every three months. Again, complete portfolio. And along with every daily update, I send out a complimentary newsletter to your email inbox, explaining my thoughts, rationalizing my trades, and throwing some real-time charts in there as well. And uh, of course, if you guys do want to talk shop with me, talk about the new mecha I got, talk um, story every day at 2 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, because that's when I hop in here and talk to you guys in general chat. Check out the Waves exclusive Discord. It's not just for me, you guys. I'm just like the cherry on top there, I guess. But the meat of the Discord group is the individuals that are already involved and all the help that they can provide you and all the value that they have okay so use code youtube 25 if you want 25 bucks off the exclusive link to that bad boy but for now let's hop into these charts but first wow man ether is coming down a little bit not looking too good at this moment but again you guys what's a few hours when we're, when we're when we're entering all coin season all right uh, again let's read through this just kind of touch on the fundamentals a little bit more and then just close it out on the charts um boom cryptocurrencies were mostly higher on thursday as some traders appear to be rotating into tokens that have underperformed over the past month bitcoin was roughly flat over the past 24 hours compared with a seven percent jump for ether over the same period again good news starting to skew in altcoin ether and altcoins direction i mean ether you guys if ether is moving it's likely that a lot of alts are going going to be as well Quote, direction-wise for BTC, we find ourselves with a bullish bias, but unable to form a strong bullish conviction in spite of the clear optimism in the market. Again, if there's optimism in the market. If investors are feeling optimistic, that means they're going to be trading with a little more risk, uh, a little higher risk appetite, I should say. Crypto trading firm QCP Capital wrote an announcement on Telegram. Despite BTC's recent outperformance, QCP mentioned that it's extremely excited about the new growth phase in decentralized finance or DeFi market. The firm maintains long positions in tokens such as Algorand or Algo and Solana relative to its neutral BTC position. Okay, so again, you guys, this is this really didn't say much, but I felt the exact way. <laughs> I felt I feel the exact way as these guys. Again, risk is coming into the market. Uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement around DeFi, around just the the level three of the crypto markets, the second layers of the crypto markets. I guess Solana is is technically a first layer, but just the more technical aspects of uh, of the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin digital gold uh i mean every other cryptocurrency for the most part internet 3.0 okay so uh let's move, let's talk some technicals you guys right now again altcoins looking a little tough and as as you can see bitcoin is holding up a little more so uh right now the primary thing i'm looking at for ether and we can zoom in a little bit after this i'll just tell you guys right now like right off the bat it's pretty it's pretty damn likely that ether is going to at the very least come down to about 36 37 high, like 36 74 to retest the previous high re right here to retest this previous high as well on this current uptrend again just a series of higher highs and higher lows high low higher high higher low higher high probably going to come in set a higher low right around again 36 80 36 70 36 80 so just get that out of the way that may have happened already but i do think it's super likely that over the coming 24 to 48 hours, we will resolve this massive inverse head and shoulders. Okay, so inverse head and shoulders, upside down, head and shoulders. You can see the first shoulder here. The base of the shoulder is this purple line, which is where my price target over Chia is. So uh, again, this shoulder right here, come up, form the head, this shoulder right here. This is a pretty, 
this is a pretty damn clean head and shoulders pattern if uh at least in my eyes you guys so i do think that at the very least at the very very least in terms of upside ether will uh, resolve his head and shoulders pattern right around four thousand dollars of course 4k is going to be a psychological barrier so he may struggle a bit in uh, in breaking 4k but i do think that it's uh, i mean 4k is just a general price target 4k is an easy price target at this point and i'm feeling a lot more confident than not that once again over the coming days we will see 4k ether if we can break above that my upside price target for ether let's get rid of that because that gets annoying is going to be around here okay so if we can break out this is just a this is a trend line that's been in play for ether for a very very long time this is like central trend line so we'll just use this for now we'll talk about this top top trend line if things really get crazy but that's a little too optimistic for uh for my taste right now anyway if we do absolutely rip over the remainder of the month of october i mean there's only a couple weeks left so this is highly optimistic as well but uh i do think that expanding this makes a little more sense just for the purpose of maybe we test this trend line at this by the end of this month october 1st that would take ether if we just start going absolutely parabolic again i want to make it very clear this is optimistic that would take us to a 50 uh 5300 eth so is that possible 100 is it likely honestly not really because i think it will take getting into like november december for us to test some of these but until then i do think we will have like a nice organic climb up and again maybe it's mid-month of november just extend this out mid-month would be like 5600 and i think that's personally a little more likely but uh, again, getting excited. My portfolio is ready personally, and uh, let's see these alt rip. Alt pff, link. <laughs> I was gonna say. Speaking of alt coins, link. Let's talk about chain link, okay? So, chain link broke out of this pretty strong downtrend that it's been in for the better part of just over a month, actually, actually beginning September 6th. Broke out at the beginning of the month on October 1st. Since then, has been going sideways in a technical but very, very boring and uh, actually not volatile chain link is usually pretty volatile but this is there's very little volatility going on here which is actually kind of a good sign if i'm being honest because low volatility uh it can be a bad thing but it can also be a good thing in the sense that no one's really wanting to sell and everyone's just waiting for it to rip to buy okay so again high low higher high higher low technically kind of on the verge of setting a higher high but right now like i mean look how boring this is you guys you could say this is like a <laughs> A quadruple okay so if you if you we're on four hour right now if you change this to, to daily this is probably like a quadruple top so very very boring but in terms of potential upside if we do see this altcoin rally because that's what we're talking about let's get an arrow boom that's where i think we're going the reason for that if my chart loads which it never does is going to be to test previous support as new resistance which chain link has not yet done technically okay so previous level of support for a lot of chain links 2021 rally i do think that if we do see another run up this will come into play as new resistance tier 101 previous support acts as a new resistance if that is the case that would take us to by the end of november november 24th this makes more sense from a time horizon perspective in my opinion um this would take us to about a 65 dollar chain link okay so that's pretty easy right there you guys uh, again there will it's not just going to go straight up once all coins start ripping it's not just a straight line up that's very obvious all of you guys know that there will be blips like previous levels uh previous ceilings and floors along the way like probably around 30 bucks 40 bucks uh just those round numbers psychological evens will come into play and again this previous high around here around 52 obviously come into play so just keep that in mind but uh again by the end of november i think that's probably when we'll see a lot of uh, a lot of all-time highs being set in for some of our favorite names Let's close it out with Solana, the new face. So Solana, in the beginning, when I said I do foresee a little bit more downside prior to upside, I'm sure this is what a lot of you guys knew, or a lot of you guys were assuming if uh, if you've watched the videos before. But bull flag, big old, big old bull flag. So it's crazy to see how far Solana's come. I wish, uh, I mean, God, it's so hard when you just get caught in the, just in the mix of all the, all the bunk projects that are out there i'm gonna be honest like there's so much trash product uh projects out there but since this run-up solana's founder has been on a lot of podcasts i listen to like this week in startups he's talked to kevin rose who i'm a big fan of and uh it this sounds like a great project and if there's an if there is going to be an ethereum killer it's going to be solana from the research i've done so far again late to the party but we have seen a correction at least we're not buying it 215 bucks 
but I am definitely going to be buying over the coming weeks. A little spoiler right there, because I do think that we will play out this massive bull flag pattern. Bull flag, parabolic move up, followed by descending triangle, and I do think we'll base out probably around 130 to 140. I'm personally comfortable buying at 140, but I do think we'll base out one more time prior to resolving this. If we come to the very tip, that would take us to late October, which is entirely possible, but Bull flags, uh, when they look like this, they could resolve at any point kind of around here. So we'll see when this happens. I do think that uh, this will take at least like a week to play out. But if we do break resistance, it'll play out sooner. It's all about when we break this uh, the resistance on this current downtrend, okay? But bull flag is in play. Once we come down a little bit more, I will likely be buying. And uh, I'm getting pretty excited for Solana. Super excited for this, you guys. Let me know if you guys have any NFTs. Again, I'll be making a video about this as well. And again, if you want to talk shop, if you want to know exactly how I'm trading, all those links will be down below as well. I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to me about anything you want in the comments downstairs, and I will see you down there. So until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.